Hey, it's John from Ride Upstate, and I'm going to be talking about week 12 on my road to a 96%, 96, 90% acceptance rate. 96, that would be insane. <laughs> All right, let's get into it. Uh, as I stated in the previous video, which was just recorded two minutes ago, um, I will not be going trip by trip. I'm just going to be giving a quick overview of how the week went because going trip by trip and doing all that editing is a pain in the neck. And I really want to make this as simple as possible so I can get this content to you um, as easily as possible and make it in a format that you can consume. So with all that said, let's not belabor the point. Only three trips on Uber for this week of 11.13 through 11.19 for $35.28, which comes to $11.76 per trip. I had about two hours on app, and, you know, you would look at that and say, well, that's only like $17.60 an hour, but 51 minutes of that were what I call actually on-trip, non-commuting time, so that brings my uh, acceptance, my hourly rate to $41.50. No tips, no consecutive trip bonuses. Um, let me just interject here real quick. You may have noticed that in the last video and also in this video, I'm not mentioning per miles. Uh, mileage is an expense, and so I'm, not, uh, I'm no longer looking at earnings per mile. Earnings per hour is more important than earnings per mile. Okay, I'm just going to say it. Um, whether you believe me or not, it is, and in the end, it will all wash out to good earnings per mile if you're making good earnings per hour. Okay, my estimated fuel cost for that those trips was like half a gallon, so I think like a dollar eighty-five. And Uber's take for this week was eighteen point five percent. Just a reminder. That upfront fare that you receive, if you see $20 that the passenger paid and you get $10, Uber did not get 50%. More than likely, 30% uh, or more went to taxes and other fees. So keep that in mind. It's not as bad as people are making it out to be that Uber is taking 50 to 60%. I've actually been guilty of that as well, of using that phrasing, and it's actually incorrect. And you can look in your app and see that yourself. Okay, no change in the acceptance and cancellation rate this week, even though, uh, I mean, clearly I didn't take any consecutive trips, so I must have uh, not accepted or canceled some trips, but we stayed at 73% acceptance rate and a 6% cancellation rate. All right, that's it for this week. I'll talk to you next time. This is John from Ride Upstate reminding you that just because you're in a small market doesn't mean you need to settle for small profits. Bye.